Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your brother Ismail Bullock for the daily reminder. Now, brothers and sisters, I'm standing here in the graveyard. Why am I standing here in the graveyard? This is our, my home and this is your home. This is where ultimately we will be. We are here as we know in this earth for a short period of time. But are we living our lives as if we are here? As the Prophet ﷺ said, Abir al-Sabil, be in this world like you are a stranger or Abir al-Sabil or a person who's just walking through it, a traveler who's just passing through a country. Are we living this life? Or are we saying to ourselves, inshallah, you know, it's true. Um, death is a reality. I mean, Allah tells us in the, in the Quran, that death is a reality when he says وَجَاءَتْ سَكْرَةُ الْمَوْتِ بِالْحَقَّ ذَلِكَ ذَلِكَ مَا كُنْتَ مِنْهُ تَحِيدٌ That indeed the intoxication of death has come in truth. This is what you are afraid of. This is what we are afraid of. This is what we hide from. But can we in reality hide from this our brothers and sisters? And Allah created us to worship Him. But Allah tells us also why He created life and death when He says, It is He, Allah, who created life and death to see which of you are the best in deeds. So are we living that life of good deeds? Are we living a life of righteousness? Or do we say, come on, I've got plenty of time. I'm only 20. I'm only 18, I'm only 30, I know I have to be good, I'll be good inshallah when I'm 30, when I'm 40, then I'll pray, then I'll grow a beard, then I'll do the, the things of Islam I'm supposed to do. But this graveyard I'm standing in here, these people next to me of various ages, they all thought the same thing. They all thought they had that extra year, that extra day, that extra minute, but in reality they didn't. And none of us know, oh brothers and sisters, when we're going to die. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us وَمَا تَدْرِي نَفْسٌ مَاذَا تَكْسِبُ غَدَا وَمَا تَدْرِي نَفْسٌ بِأَيِّ أَرْضٍ تَمُوتٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that no person, no soul knows what, will, what they will put forth tomorrow, what will happen tomorrow what they will do tomorrow and then he finishes by saying and no soul, no person knows when, which land, where they will die. This is the reality. So are we willing to take that risk? As they say, now is the time. Now is the time to make that change and to bring a bit of reality of this grave. Uthman radiallahu anhu, as reported by his freed slave Hani, he said that Uthman radiallahu anhu, he would, when he was mentioned about Jannah to him or about Jahannam, the hellfire, he wouldn't cry. But when he went to the grave, so he said to him, Ya Uthman, when we mention paradise and hellfire, you do not cry. But when we come here to this place, the grave, you cry. And he would cry until his beard would be full of the wetness of his tears. And they said, why is this? Paradise. Jahannam. You don't cry, but you cry about the grave. And Uthman radiallahu anhu replied and said, Surely it is because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-Qabr, awwal manazil al-akhirah, that the Grave is the first stage of here the hereafter. So whoever is successful in this stage is successful thereafter. And whoever is unsuccessful and has failed in this stage of the grave, he has failed and is unsuccessful in the hereafter. And the Prophet ﷺ also said that out of all of the scenes that I have seen, all of the events, all of the battles, all of the scary events, the Prophet ﷺ is saying that the grave is more frightening than all of these. This is the reality of the grave. As somebody may say, I have a good heart. I've done enough good deeds. I'll be absolutely fine. The Prophet ﷺ told us of a squeezing in the grave that will squeeze the ribcage with such severe pressure. And he said that nobody is freed from this. And he said, if anybody would have been freed from this, it would have been our noble companion. Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh, but he said not even he is freed from this squeezing. So this, brothers and sisters, was really a short reminder, firstly to myself and, first, and to everybody else. Make that change. 
There's no time like the present as they say. And this is the reality. I may not return after I record this to my house alive. You may not at the end of this evening of watching this video be alive. Like many of these young, healthy people who died in ways only Allah knows. The most unexpected of ways, some of them. So this is a reflection for all of us, inshallah. And until I join you here on the daily reminder. And if you've benefited from this video, like it, share it. The Prophet ﷺ said, whoever starts a good thing, a good deed, receives the reward of it. If you share this video and another person repents, starts to pray, changes his life because of this video, you also will get the reward. All those prayers, all those things he left, all the fornication, all the alcohol, all the bad things he left will be on your scale, inshallah, and hopefully on my scale on Yawm Al Qiyamah. And I leave you with the greetings of Islam, the greetings of peace. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.